Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek. And this is going to be a video about getting to know each of us who are living here in the Freethinker House and a little bit more about what our goals are on an individual level. The first video was an intro to the house, a quick tour of the house, and we talked a little bit about some of the projects and what we hope to accomplish as a whole, as a part of the Houston Freethinkers activist community. But individually, we have our own goals. So my personal goal and situation is um, I currently write for a living. I write for a number of different websites, write articles, and uh, do journalism, as many of you guys know. Um, occasionally, I do garden jobs through my business, Organic Gardens for All. Um, sometimes the black and gray market come to my rescue in other ways. And uh, yeah, those are my main sources of income. I personally have not filed paid taxes, uh, income tax, uh, since 2000. 10 or 2011 and uh, that's something I'm, I'm really adamant about doing and I want to find more ways to use uh, Bitcoin or Dash or cryptocurrency or alternative currency or barter or just direct exchange so that I don't have to use the Federal Reserve note to support the Federal Reserve system and the central banking system and the US government in general. So I try to limit my involvement with them as much as possible using the strategy, the philosophy of agorism and counter economics. So I focus a lot on, with like with my gardening business, Organic Gardens for All, we don't have a business license, we operate in the gray market. We just have individuals communicating and doing business together um, however we please. And uh, I really want to promote that black and gray market activity. So I'm trying to, while in this house, increase that. We want to start you know, our kombucha brand and sell that, do that in a uh, voluntary fashion that doesn't involve government or government licenses but still is healthy and safe for you guys. Uh, we're also going to grow food and sell it to local restaurants and at markets and eat it for ourselves and going to come up with plenty of other ideas, ways that we can become more independent and also make income so uh, as a house we can you know, lessen our dependence on this system. Since I'm already just kind of freelancing, I freelance journalism, I freelance video um, work, editing, uh, sometimes I get paid for talks or things like that, but just a mix of areas. It gives me freedom of time to do what I choose. So I, I rather have free time than a lot of money, and I, I appreciate that because it allows me to educate myself and to empower myself through um, gaining skills and knowledge, and that's what this house is going to be about for me. So how can I make myself even more free, limit my reliance on the Federal Reserve note, and help my brothers here and you guys at home find ways to be more free and to hopefully get to the point where we can all quit the jobs that we hate and do things that we love to do in a sustainable fashion where we don't need to rely on having to work every day to survive. So yeah, that's my story. Hey, this is Jeff. This is a garden update. Uh, thanks, huge thanks to all who came out uh, on Sunday. We had at least a dozen people donating their time to create this wonderful bed over here that we see. Uh, we had people donating garden tools, a couple hundred bucks worth of garden tools, really important ones. We had a $300 donation from Alex Macias. Alex Macias. We had a $200 donation from Susan Eberhard. She's going to come around today and we're going to go up to the garden center and purchase a whole bunch of herbs and lettuce and spinach and all sorts of awesome things, so. What the hell is this thing behind you, Jeffrey? This thing, we're gonna put a flag up here, I think. I like this flag, right? Would that not be a fucking badass thing? That would be a use of this little water line that we found that's no longer being used. It goes there, but it's not being used, and uh, we, we thought we dug up a root, but it was this. So now it's just sticking out in the air for now. <laughs> yeah, so this morning, where we are is Johnny, He's gonna put in an hour of work before he goes off to his, uh, his hump job. Uh, we're bu building this bed here, so we'll have a huge space to plant our spinaches and kales, lettuce, all the good stuff. And yeah, that's where we are. Oh, another thing: we're taking all the all the grass and we're making compost out of it. So in here, we have a mixture of our old food scraps along with, I uh, went to a local coffee shop. Jimmy, what are you doing? Up, oh, he's on camera again. Went to a local coffee shop, and we're getting the, the old coffee grinds from A Coffee. Go we'll check them out, they're an awesome establishment. Where are they at? Uh, next to the BBVA. All right, uh, uh, Stadium. And what else do we have? 
focus into them. Eating grass, okay. Hey, it's Johnny from the Freethinker House. I'm doing my uh, personal update for you. Just want to give you guys some information, background information about me or a little bit. Uh, so I'm 23 years old. I've been uh, in the Houston Freethinkers for over two years now. It's uh, really changed my life a lot. I'm happy to be a part of this house. Uh, that being said, you know, I'm still pretty young. I still remotely new to this uh, compared to others so like I have a lot of lifestyle changes that I'm trying to make you know and this house is going to be a part of reaching those goals for me it's a really good opportunity and I could use your guys's help as well as the help from my roommates and uh, so we can all learn and grow together uh, you know some of these goals include me figuring out how the heck you're supposed to garden and maintain you know uh, a garden you know throughout the year as well as like cooking. I needed to do better organic cooking. Like, I hate McDonald's. I hate fast food. I don't want to continue putting those poisons into my body. So I'm trying to work on that and I'm going to try to teach you guys some of this stuff along with me. Um, another goal I have is, well, let me just say this first. I work at UPS, United Parcel Services. I'm an area supervisor and it's a uh, it's an alright job, you know, it, but it's not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lit, have to work for somebody forever, and I don't think that anyone has to, you know. So one of my goals is to, you know, eventually move away from UPS through alternative ways we've found to create uh, income through the house, you know, whether that be selling this or that, making this or that, or doing gardening services. All kinds of different ideas are floating around. But, uh, and along with that, hopefully, I will finally be able to get off of this uh, banking system that we're on right now. I, like right now I have Chase Bank. That goes completely against what I believe about the people at Chase Bank, you know, but I still have a bank. Everyone's got a bank. So maybe I can help give you guys tips on how to drop those guys out of your life as well as I'm working on myself trying to figure that out. Um, guess just, a, just this, uh, another thing I'm really passionate about, music. I'm in two bands, Your Friendly Neighborhood Anarchist as well as Man and Kari. Play drums in Manikari with my roommate Derek. We do some awesome metal music as well as uh, Friendly Neighborhood Anarchists, some uh, hardcore pop punk, <laughs> if you will. We, uh, we like to have fun, man. So we also like to spread messages of spirituality and consciousness as well as messages about the world, what's going on. Um, and that's really been my outlet. As far as like my contribution to a lot of things is like I'm trying to inform people via music. That's my big passion. But uh, just real quick, let's just wrap it up. Let's just say like, uh, you know, I'm really trying to get off the banking system, trying to learn how to be a true gardener organically. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to learn how to cook better. Um, I really just want to, you know, get my hands going on any kind of black or gray markets I can. But uh, for now, see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good one. Hey, this is Jeffer. I live at the Freethinker House, and this is my mini bio. So I came to Houston in 2013 to work with Derek, and he put me up in the Freethinker House when it was back on uh, Trujillo Street. And we worked on the Conscious Resistance. Uh, it was a freaking awesome experience uh, working in his in his uh, bedroom putting together shows every Sunday connecting with the the activist community and I fell in love with Houston the 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 urban farms out here there's one I volunteered at for a year called the uh, last organic outpost and I learned a whole bunch from the the farmers who've been working there for the past five five years or so um, but my time there was up um, and I really wanted to put my energy into something that was all about agorism and Derek is all about that he's been about that for years 
and we've had so many conversations about doing a project, getting the Freethinker House back together, and so the the stars aligned, as you'd say, and uh, I moved out of my last place this month, Derek moved out, and we we said, let's do the Freethinker House, and we found this amazing spot, so if you look around, we have a huge garden area, we have a huge living room area, we have a huge garage area, and this can be this is so much potential just to be this freedom hub for for Houston where we spin farm this backyard and and show that you can make revenue on your own land uh, in very small space uh, we want to do microgreens so I mean if you don't have land like this we'll show you how you can even do it on your porch in your bedroom etc uh, we have a huge living room so we can invite bands we can have open mics we can do pop-up restaurants and just show you how you can have a these alternate systems you don't have to just think oh i went to school and now i have to do this freaking hump job i have to do a nine to five i'm stuck in this routine because my family and my peers expect this of me we want to show you we want to give you a blueprint of how you can do this and it's not going to be the best you know we're going to be like the freaking iphone one you know compared to the iphone 7 like we want as much feedback as possible from you the viewer of like you guys are doing this wrong you should do this and then we'll take that advice and we'll we'll use it and then we we'll want to you know inspire hundreds if not thousands of people around the world to start these and then just see where it goes 10 years from now this we'll look back on these videos and think oh my god it's now a you know multi-million multi-billion dollar or bitcoin or whatever it's not about the money it's about you know, bringing that community spirit back and showing how much, um, how much uh, freedom we can take back in, into our lives without having to plug into that old matrix bullshit system. My personal goals are to become financially independent from through these projects, but really it's about, and I experienced it for the first time this Sunday, was bringing the community together and and showing, I, I want to be a central hub to to helping people wake up um, and feeling that they're part of the community, um, so they don't go home at the weekends and just you know go out get drunk and then go back to their condo and just you know log on to Facebook and type oh I, I freaking hate Hillary I hate Trump or whatever. I want them to be able to come out here at the weekends and and see that that. You know, there's there's so much opportunity to here and to do it in their own creative space. So my 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 goals are uh, create community cohesion, become financially independent, and show you the viewers uh, that you can do this anywhere. It doesn't have to just be Houston. This could be in London. This could be in Belgium. This could be in Brazil. Wherever. Are you currently like you know? Do you have a bank account, or do you have a regular, uh, regular source of income, like a tax source of income? Uh, poker right now is is my is, poker and savings are my are are my income right now, and I'm I'm eating through those. So I'm, I I I I fell out of love with poker a year ago, and I said I just I just want to I just want to make it with farming, with with community or. Uh, organizing and I tried that with another space it was a non-profit so um, it was it was harder to to get my like foot in the door and, and really um, get my vision through and so here I am where this could be about agorism my vision your vision 